Okay, here's the Collinsville Water Company. We're going to take a walk around and take a look at the cutting. I'm just going to record this just for you. So, this way, if anybody wants to take a look. Um, well, I think we, let's do a lower and then we'll, I'll show you what I, I think I caught most of it. Now, like stuff like this, <coughs> that's a hemlock. So, um, I mean, I guess just for our... Well, why don't you just not record the hemlock? Who cares about the hemlock? Okay, all right, all right. Let's just, let's just do this. Whatever he gets the hemlock, he's losing money. Okay, just for hauling it out in the gas? Yeah. 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 And, you know, I figured he'd probably just do old just yeah. to, so we could make some money. Yeah, yeah, I mean, we don't, you know. Right, but if you took 50 of them, then that's a different story. Right. We didn't use that first of that, but the other two. I mean, another concern I always had, you know, you, you know I'm a little bit paranoid about, you know, the DPP. Supposed to every, any 5,000 foot of disturbance, even for logging anything, you're supposed to have a, a best management plan, you know. And there's guidelines for setting up silt fence, you know. Right. And I just thought maybe some professional logger would be aware of these things. Now, I can't, I don't know if this counts as a disturbance or not, but that was my first concern. I didn't see any silt fence. You've got this nice stream here, and it doesn't seem like it has any. It, it, it is, but hey, who's going to be on the hook? That's right. You know, it's going to be a water company, probably not him. So, uh, where did that like, come from? Yeah, and I figured it might be a few things just kind of in his way. Yeah. You know, I don't think it's like it's just a matter of. Could have came up from the bank there. I bet it rolled down. So, uh, yeah, that may be an oak right up there, the big one. Yeah, that's probably. It. I bet that's it. We'll, we'll we'll hit that on the way back down. We're just looking for. Okay. Now there's a cherry, not a big deal. Mm -hmm. hemlock. Right. Yeah. And that's worth a little bit, but no, it's so small. It's not really worth much. Okay. And the cherry down here is not. Yeah. So I think really along this route. You know, we put in a water line from the well about 10 years ago. That's why there's not much in this swath here. The a lot of the trees were taken when they dug out here. So we're not going to see a whole lot until we get down a little bit closer here. How's George making out? Good, you know. It's, uh, best you can. Best you can, you know. Are they treating them halfway decent? Yeah, I mean, he's, you know. You know, he ain't no trouble to him. Exactly. He's a calming influence, is yeah. basically a good way to put it, you know. And, uh, I mean, it's kind of neat to see, you know, some of the guys, they joke around with the CEOs, you know, and Joe's like that, you know, he just, it, Joe makes it life easy for this, you know, the job easy for the CEOs, I guess. Is, and he's not perfect, but you know, for the oh, most hey. part, I know well, I'm perfect. Yeah, for, for the most part, you know, they they know he if he does anything, it's um, it's not because he's mean. It's because he just forgot or being stupid, you know. Okay, let's see. Now, some point, I guess it was down here further. Yeah, like, so there's really nothing. What I did is, I came down here a little ways, 
and then I I cut up on the hill. Now where did I do that? I wonder if I missed it already. Where I cut up on now I think it's I think it's down here in this area here. Matter of fact, why don't we do that? Why don't we divert over to that road there? Because that's where we want to end up. Anyways. Because I mean I counted probably you know, 15 or 20 hemlocks in here. And then it was down here is really where they, you know, you started picking up the count. <laughs> now the question is, you can see our, our property line, it comes closer and closer to the stream. So that's another concern I had is, of course there's, you know, a couple hemlocks there. So the concern I had is, you know, maybe off of trying to figure out, make sure I know where the property line is. That's why I thought <clears throat> I'd get to DPS and uh okay now here's what is that a maple there or something not a big deal but I believe it is, yeah. probably maple it's got a little bit of heart rot so that you know it's not a big deal this what would you say that one is that another hem that's a hemlock right the big no, one no, I don't think it is. That looks, yeah i think yeah, that. yeah. all right And then uh, here's basically where we start getting into the oaks, right, right up through this path right here. You know. I just wonder. Oh, Mark. Well, here's the. It's not your property line, is it? Who, is this where Larson? Larson. Well, Larson is. See, see, there's another part lot right there. See, I think this is your property line here. Okay. Your property line comes from here and goes that way. That's that line. That's the line right here. You, I don't think we're down that far. That's, we would clear down to the water tank. Yeah, but there's a line here with the property line. Okay, maybe, I see what you're maybe saying. it's this one. I see what you're saying, but the tank is another three or 400 yards down there. Okay. It's a long way. You see, there's, there's something. Yeah, I agree, yeah. So that's an indication. Well, I mean, yeah, that's an indication that something's going on. Like maybe they, that's why I want to give the logger the benefit of the doubt. Maybe the proper line wasn't marked correctly, you know. But to me, looking at that, we are right now, we probably went down to, we're probably, we turned the corner, so we're probably right in here somewhere. Okay. So this is 300 feet, you know what I mean? So our property line, I mean, yeah. You know what I mean? Now, once you get down here, I mean, we're still 100 foot away from this stream. Now, we're, yeah. but then again, there's, if this is the, well, here's the road. That's 300 feet. So, I don't know where 300 feet from the road is. We're getting kind of close. So, well, let me mark on the GPS a couple points here. And, I mean, I can show you see, where we're see, at see, on the GPS. Maybe that's see, what... See, the, there's a road. We're on this road. It takes a hump like this and goes back. Yeah, here, well, here's silly. Let me just look at the map here, right? Right? It should, mm -hmm. I should have a pretty good drawing of the map. I can show us exactly where we're at. So let me see if I can zoom in. Um, shoot. I don't really have any resolution on that, do, don't I? Well, let me look on my cell phone then. My cell phone will have pretty good, you know, location. Okay. This, that's good then if maybe I you know I don't know if I have a I don't think I have any signal here that's the problem I have a GPS signal 
Well, this is some things I can do. Well, why don't we just take a walk? Yeah, yeah. Here's some, here's some stuff over here. Let, let's assume that there's that, definitely an issue here. I'm going to tell you what. I'm going to mark right here. I'm going to mark a waypoint. That's number 29. Number 29 is a mark on rock. All right, and then the first, see, see, now see, there's another line going up there. See, see that orange on the tree there? Yeah. But see, it, so that must be the line going up that one. Oh, let me see, oh, what line were you saying? That I'm one. saying it's this line. Okay. That could, I mean, it, there's more marks up on top of the ridge. Okay. All right, so we may be... Yeah. yeah. But, but see, that's not too far up there. That's 300 feet. That's less than 300 feet from yeah. here up there. Well, so we'll this... it's, like I said, it's quite a ways yeah. further down. Okay. But let's take a look. Here's our first oak right here. You know, I'd call this a, what would you call that? 15, 15. All right. Mark, mark them on there. Okay, let me, uh. Okay, so that's number, that's number 30. Number 30 is a, we call it a red oak. Oh, uh, yeah. And, uh. 20 inch? Oh, out. Why, why don't you hold that, and I'll just, I just want to grab a quick picture of you, with your scale on, on there. Okay, that's number one. Okay. Now, what we need to do is make a, Write these down. Oh, okay. Yeah, I... Why don't I just hold it? Like, say we need... Red oak. Oh, okay. So you're just gonna... Alright, what we'll do... Is every time we get a red oak... Well... We'll just make a... A, a hash mark. And then we can do one like this. Okay. And we'll do the next 18 or whatever across here. And we just, uh, we got one 20 inch red oak. Okay. All right. All right, now we uh, Okay. Do you want to do that? Mode? Yep, yep. And I'll have my own notes. Just, I also marked the GPS location of that one also. Okay. Now I'm just, what I'm also going to do here, and I'm just going to mark it on my, with a Sharpie. Um, so this is going to be number one. Uh, red oak. And uh, 20 inches. Okay. Another point. Of, this is probably actually a bracket. We would call it red oak. Is that 20 inches or? Huh? How, what was the, the 20 inches, say. Okay. Yeah, that's a good idea. You could write it down. That way there, there's no. So I'm going to put just another hash mark here. And uh, let me, that's number 31, 31, uh oh, you don't have to put your thing, I'm just going to if I have it recorded at 20, okay, a little mission to our enemies here, nothing, okay. Um, one over here on the left, if you want to look at this red oak here, I think that's a hemlock. Yeah. This looks like another oak. We'll say 28 and 20, so that'd be 24. 